She's now the boss of the Indian Olympic Association and one of our legendary athletes, P.T. Usha, at the Los Angeles Olympics. In fact, when Usha went in, all of us were extremely hopeful. I was actually a child at that point in time, but we were all hopeful that P.T. Usha will be the one Indian athlete who will break that jinx and win that coveted Olympic medal. More so, the way Usha ran the initial rounds, the way she ran the semi-final, which she won beating Judy Brown, and all of us thought, yes, a medal was actually coming. And, uh, you know, under OM Nambiar, P.T. Usha had broken so many ceilings, the Paoli Express. You know, the point is, at that point in time, an Indian woman athlete breaking so many ceilings, India had a contingent weight. Today, when we send a contingent of 117, 120, imagine it was a contingent of eight that went to LA, out of which five, uh, you know, athletes were men and women. So that's the kind of division. Women hardly competed for India. And P.T. Usha in the final ran an incredible race. I mean, 55.42. And in just about one, one thousandth of a second, Christina Koekaro of Romania had thrust herself in front and that met the tape. And, and P.T. Usha had lost. Uh, when that photograph came up, all of us were stunned. I remember crying. The Indians protested, and justly so. But technology was there, and P.T. Usha had lost out. And Usha, from what we know, uh, K. Dotto reported in the Times of India that Usha was distraught. She did not speak to anyone before she went into the Olympic village. In fact, she hadn't even realized that what had happened. And only when she realized what had happened, that the medal had slipped away from her, did she finally understand the, the significance of the whole thing? And it, it was an absolute heartbreak. But trust me, for an Indian woman to do what she did at that point in 1984 was incredible. And in, in a couple of years, she recovered. She went to she, she went to Seoul and beat Lydia De Vega of Philippines and won so many medals for India in the Asian Games and, and inspired a generation, whether it is Shiny Wilson, Bandana Rao, Ashwini Nachappa, Marcy Kutan, that whole generation of athletes who sort of came after Rusha, and that is why she's a real legend. But from then to now, when she now goes to Paris as the boss of the IOA and could well preside over 10 medal winning hall, which is India's best, 40 years later from LA, it will be redemption for PT Usha as well. 1984, so near, yet so far for our IOA president, PT Usha.